you're, you're up and welcome. And on deck is Rebecca Mordini. Good morning. Have the young people in your life sat you down yet and talked to you about climate change? If not, isn't it time that you had that conversation? Anyone who sees the news knows the ominous signs. I won't repeat them here, the list is too long. My name is Scott Peterson, I'm a co-founder of Faith Alliance for Climate Solutions a nonprofit that started as a discussion group in the basement of my congregation in Oakton. Today, FACTS has 2,400 supporters drawn from 70 congregations, temples, and mosques throughout Fairfax County. We're re united around a central idea that addressing climate change is a moral imperative. Although we've been focused on Fairfax County, we have one bill in particular that we'd like to see pass the state legislature, and that's the Solar Freedom Act. Solar freedom requires no appropriations. It simply changes the code to remove barriers to customer solar. Today, you'll hear five of us from FACTS speaking about various elements of the Solar Freedom Act. I want to talk about one, and that's number eight, removing standby charges on solar facilities between 10 and 20 kilowatts and small agricultural customers. <laughs> standby charges are paid monthly to Dominion or another utility. They kill larger residential systems because monthly charges are based on the size of a solar system. Let's say you want a system a solar system and batteries on your home and only use Dominion's electricity when the sun doesn't shine for a few days a month. You still have to pay your utility a large monthly standby fee. Most people can't afford that. Standby charges are really a way to keep solar down. If you want to charge your car with your solar panels, standby uh, tax, standby charges act like a tax. Standby charges have been pushed nationwide by the Edison Electric Institute as a way to stop the growth of residential solar. But people are fighting back. Please join us. Commercial residential customers pay demand charges, not standby charges. Residential customers should too. Dominion claims residential customers must pay their share of maintaining the grid, but other states have found new ways to maintain the grid. Today, Faith Alliance joins with some 45 other organizations from throughout Virginia to ask that you pass the Solar Freedom Act. We have the power to organize. You have the power to act. During this legislative session, we pray that you will. Thank you. 